Funding now on Indiegogo, it's Shadowbinders, our second chance offer to get two hardcovers of our classic webcomic delivered to your door. Steampunk, fantasy, and romantic comedy from Clownfish Comics. Go to Indiegogo, check out the link in the description below. Now on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for Bill Burr to get canceled. Yeah, and it's time for us to stop that. Uh, Bill Burr knew he was going to get canceled. <laughs> he did. Um, that was the joke. He joked about getting canceled by a bunch of uh, a bunch of feminists who were going to go nuts over his Grammys jokes. Yeah, they were going to because did he say like he's, yeah he's a cis white male doing Latina because he was given the award for was it Latina artist? Yeah, yeah. Why is a cis white male going doing all this Latino stuff? They first of all he said it wrong. It should be Latinx. Oh, Latinx. yeah, that's right. How the, hell, the tanks. How the hell you say that? It's stupid no matter how you pronounce it. It's a made up Latinx. word. Whatever the hell and it is. And people who speak Spanish don't even use it. Anyway. I know. I'm like, you know, first of all, he didn't even bother to use the proper terminology according to Twitter. And, but then he said this is white male doing this Latino stuff. It was hilarious. Ah. It was beautiful. So, of course, Twitter did lose their shit, but they decided to hit him below the belt. They decided to attack him and his wife. Well, no, no, no. First, people they, people were saying about what a racist he is. And then people pointed out that he's married to a, a to a black woman. Yeah. And then they decided they were going to they weren't going to have that either. So then uh, they said they decide that the best way to go about it is talk that he's still a racist and find ways to insult his wife. And she didn't have any of it. Of course she didn't. She was she was Go on her. fire. All right, so before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 182,000 subs. Uh, thank you for the support. We do talk about Disney, talk about Star Wars, talk about movies, talk about pop culture, and this is kind of a situation at the, the intersection, the intersectionality of all of those topics because Bill Burr was on The Mandalorian. He played Mayfeld. Um, very popular character. Too. He was a very popular character, and he really didn't give a shit, honestly. And mm -hmm. he still doesn't give a shit. Anyone who's followed his comedy career, his podcasting career, will know that Bill Burr doesn't give a shit. And he kind of offends everybody. He doesn't he does. like. He doesn't he does. like play this whole. You know, I'm on the right. I'm on the left. He's like, I don't fucking care. Sorry, sorry, mom. He is very much to me. Kind of reminds me of an old school. Well, ironically enough. We've got the George Carlin up I here. Saw that. He reminds me of an old school comedian, like seventies, eighties, uh, kind of shock comedian that you know offended everyone equally. Uh, but he does seem to have a heart of gold if you listen to him, you know. Uh, and he's tired of cancel culture. He really is, and he actually defended Gina Carano a like, couple weeks ago. That's what started this whole damn that's thing. I'm gonna what, tell you straight up. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he defended Gina Carano, said she was a sweetheart. And he had concerns about cancel culture. He's like, I'm probably going to get canceled. I gotta watch what I say. I don't know if he cares anymore. I don't think he cared then. But he was like, you know, she's a sweetheart. He even said, I don't always agree with what she said. Which doesn't, doesn't matter. If you you can you can say that we've said it many times. You know, like I don't always agree with everything Gina Carano says, but I agree with her. You know, being allowed to say it. I think there's a double standard when when somebody else is allowed to say similar, make similar references, and that's okay because of who they vote for. When one person, another person is allowed to say that, and I said that was a lot of shit. Um, that's what we've said. But we're against cancel culture, and apparently so is Bill Burr. <laughs> so. Yeah. So let's go down the the hole here. So yeah, Bill Burr said that, uh, you know, he was making the jokes. He said the feminists are going to be uh, very, very upset. And they I'm were. I'm sure he was getting harassed before this. This is why he did it. Yes. Uh, I think what kicked this off, honestly, what put them on the radar or put him on the radar was the Gina Carano defense. I mean, he's always been a pretty spicy comedian, but I think him jumping into the Gina Carano situation and making headlines like that put him in the crosshairs. So, of course, you know, a lot of... Um, slurs thrown in his direction wait real quick the person who was who pointed this out this amber in neverland it's funny because she's just a weird aries gal who wants everyone to be kind to each other i'm not rude i'm honest oh, oh also epilepsy weirdness hey amber yay because <laughs> they also have an aries gal who want people to be kind to each other i'm also not rude i'm honest and i also had epilepsy and you're oh, and I also have family members that are autistic. And you're also an INFJ. I am an INFJ. You guys would probably I didn't get even along notice with. that. Yeah, uh, I'm an INTJ. Yeah, that's what causes most of our trouble. I am the feeling, he is the thinking, and that's where we butt heads. Yes, we do. Uh, anyway, we didn't say we're butt heads. We we do, we do <laughs> so, butt heads because I'm like we have funny, to. Funny, I could have written that almost 
that entire bio. And I was like, wow, that's, I just realized that. That's cool. So Amber in Neverland put this up uh, last night. Gen Z calling Bill Burr a racist. And here's his beautiful wife, Nia. And then this douchebag. Yes. Clayborn Griffin blue check. And we'll talk about his blue check here. They give anybody blue checks now, except for people who earn them. Says one of the most disgusting, one of the most disgusting things I, I think. I know. I couldn't believe it when I saw this. This is, a, just keep in mind, this is a white dude. Okay. Keep in mind, it's a white dude. While I'm not suggesting Bill Burr is a racist, a white man having a non-white wife can sometimes be a sign of racism. So you shouldn't assume someone isn't racist just because they own a minority sex servant. That's what he said. He literally referred to her as a minority sex servant. So not only did he dismiss her in a racist way, he dismissed her in a misogynistic way. They may very well have one because they're racist. He didn't call her his wife. He called her a minority sex servant. A minority sex servant. So this is Nia Renee Hill. They've been together, I think I read like 20 years now. Uh, seems like a very uh, uh, beautiful, uh, tough can't even. woman. Yeah, go her. She kicks his ass. I don't blame her. I would have done it for her if I'd seen it first. Yes, you would have. And she says simply, bitch, shut the fuck up. Yes. I mean, and then, and then the dipshit, then the dipshit <laughs> says, uh, I was I, I was not referring to you or Bill. I don't know you two. Uh, let me reread the tweet for you. The one he said before this. I'm not suggesting Bill Burr is a racist, even though that's exactly what I'm suggesting. A white man having a non-white wife can sometimes be a sign of racism. I'm not meaning them, even though I'm bringing it up in regards to them. So you shouldn't assume someone isn't racist just because they own a minority sex servant. Own a minority sex servant. That is a racist and sexist comment. That is it. One of the, I, I gotta tell you, Twitter never ceases to amaze me with its stupidity and ignorance. That is one of the stupidest, most ignorant things. Oh, there was, I, well, I there was ever... more. I had to call one out. Um, there was, there was one on here. Um, you have my, you have my tweets right here. Um, there was one on here where someone was like, oh yeah, I mentioned the bamboo ceiling. I thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah, someone's like, having a black spouse or child is not a shield from racism. And I said, having a Twitter account isn't a shield from stupidity either. But here we are. Oh my God. Where do these people come from? Oh, the comments on it. If you go to the, go back to the tweet, um, you can go to the comments. There were so many. A lot of people were referring to it as like masters raping the black, their, their, their slaves. Oh my God. Most domestic abusers love their victims. What they, the hell? Because they have it in their head. It's one way. And when you prove them wrong, they will go through whatever mental gymnastics they can possibly go through to try to somehow find a way to still make you the bad guy and not have to face reality and that maybe they are wrong. Uh, um, sleeping with a black woman doesn't make you woke. Um, you can marry somebody of another race and still be racist toward them. But they don't, but they don't know these people. So you're making these comments based on your own assumptions and bullshit because you didn't like that he made a joke that was a fair joke and he was right you just proved him right all you dumbasses oh god now they're dragging the proud boys into it one of the leaders of the proud boys has a, a black wife because they uh, can't be wrong even though they're wrong you prove them wrong but they can never be the ones that are, are incorrect it's always somebody else yeah, I can't be racist. I have a black friend, same energy. That's just, yeah, and then this one. Slave owners and sexual relations, even extended intimate relationships with their slaves. I guess they weren't racist either. They keep going to the, the slavery analogy. A collage of hatred and bigotry. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. A lot of white supremacists are married to or dating black people. Racists marry outside their race every day. Bill Burr is still being racist with a black wife who's okay with his racism. You guys are dumb. You can still be racist while being a POC point out that also it's hilarious to me that they keep making these racist comments while they themselves are giving examples of the very definition of racism this don't prove shit ban white people mm -hmm. yes but they're not racist uh everybody else is so yeah she spoke uh how do we ban shitty stupid people why don't we just shut twitter down if we, we go. shut, shut twitter, twitter, down. twitter down if we shut twitter down the world would be a happier place. It would be a happier place. We'd still have problems. It's where all these racist, sexist, fake trolls hang out so they can go around telling everybody else how they're racist and sexist as they demonstrate their racism and sexism. 
So there is another Star Wars, white Star Wars celebrity married to a woman of color. Yeah, you never hear that mentioned, though. You don't hear that mentioned. Uh, what you de do hear mentioned in regards to George Lucas is how, especially now with the media, they're like, well, George Lucas, um, you know, he's kind of a white supremacist because, you know, he made sure it was just all white characters in the original trilogy and he kept pushing, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed Luke Skywalker. You know, never mind that all of his kids, I think, are different ethnicities. He's got a lot of adopted kids. He's married to a black woman. Uh, George Lucas is apparently a racist piece of shit. You know, but the funny thing is, I don't understand why they're so mad about that. Because didn't they just get done yelling and screaming at how you can only stay in your own lane and only write and do characters that are like you? Yeah. So which is it? Yeah. Would you pick your, your poison for the day? Because your hypocrisy changes hourly. This is just, this is just, I mean, we've gone beyond batshit we were sitting here over the weekend we we're like god you know it seems like things are slowing down a little bit maybe Thank god maybe uh you know maybe twitter is gonna kind of chill out maybe everybody's gonna chill out a little bit maybe it's the, maybe the media is gonna stop with the insanity no maybe. they're gonna double down to trying to save their asses and it, it just continues it's it's this is ridiculous right but people like us who call this shit out we're the racist sexist people that you don't you know and i love how you mentioned dipshit has a, bl a blue check how the hell does this guy have a blue check well, let's go to his website because he really doesn't seem to do, uh, he doesn't seem to do very much. Uh, this is Claiborne, Claiborne Griffin. Uh, Claiborne is an author of eBooks. Uh, he's a marketer. Uh, he does marketing seminars and, and he, he, uh, he's an entertainer. He does, uh, board game nights in, in Astoria. Wait, so he does game, game nights in his hometown. He supposedly does digital marketing seminars. Um, who, who, wait, wait, because he's a leader in the industry uh, with work portfolio, including several Fortune 500 companies. You know who else has uh, Fortune 500 companies in their resume? Who? Oh, that would be you. Oh, yeah, I used to do that. I and, did. and you yeah, know what? Yeah. Guess who doesn't get blue checks? We don't. We have tried repeatedly because we've been, we've been um, having accounts try to, to parody us or like imitate us or pretend they're us. And they refuse to give us a blue check, even though they, you know you have more credentials than this this winner does and you know we've done stuff in um professionally in comics we've done stuff professionally in actual you know magazines and journals and things like that we have noteworthy you know youtube channel and journals and stuff now um you know we have trademarks on things and everything else they will not give us a blue check no matter what but this dumbass comes in and can make comments he makes and they'll give him a blue check uh, he's got 663 followers on YouTube. But he gets a blue check. We have 182,000. Uh, oh, Claiborne for Congress. Claiborne for Congress? Oh, my God. So this guy, this this person can have a blue check. <laughs> I was motivated to run uh, largely out of seeing the hateful rhetoric that had overtaken the Republican Party with the ascension of Donald Trump. Yes, we clearly got that you are against hateful rhetoric. What is it he said again? Let's reread re 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 that tweet that he had put up. While I'm not suggesting Bill Burr is a racist, a white man having a non-white wife can sometimes be a sign of racism. So you shouldn't assume someone isn't a racist just because they own a minority sex servant. Yeah, you know, if somebody called my wife a sex servant. If someone called me a minority sex servant, because that technically as a woman, I am a minority, uh, um, uh, you wouldn't have to have do anything for me. I would handle it myself, much like the, his lovely wife did. Yeah, and I would expect nothing less because she seems like a badass. Uh, Bill Burr would have to marry a badass because... How are you going to keep up? How are you going to keep up? I had to marry a badass. How was, how was anybody else going to keep up with me? That was your first husband. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, no, I'm serious. Because I'm a handful. I'm not going to lie. I am very much a handful. Sometimes. You're very much a handful too, though. So I don't think it would work with anybody else for either I, I of us. Think, I think in some ways I'm worse. I'm I think in some ways you probably are worse. I'm just a different kind of bad... <laughs> That's where we run into Something conflict to... with thinking and feeling. Anyway. I just don't feel. I just do things. <laughs> and I feel things out, not just think about them. Anyway. But I'm just saying this woman didn't take his shit, and nor should she. She should not take his shit. You have a white man saying that he wants to, to get away from the hateful rhetoric of Donald Trump telling a black woman that she is a minority sex servant. Well, but not her. even though. But not her. <laughs> that's the example he But used. not her. Uh, not her. I can't even. I oh, can't. Good, but go, you know go, what, go, Twitter? Go. Good job. You gave him a blue check. 
You gave this, you gave this bastard a blue check. This guy gets a blue check for his 668 or 63 to YouTube make followers. comments like that. To to make derogatory comments toward Bill Burr's. Well, this reminds wife. me of too. This is like when Zoe Saldana. Um, I was thinking about that because like, when they were trying to cancel Chris Pratt, a bunch of the people from the cast that knew him were like, kind of like, you know. <sighs> Twitter is kind of hard, you know, you don't know him. And he actually wasn't saying anything anyway to get him canceled other than Elliot Page having a fit about him going to a certain church she didn't like. He didn't like. Who the hell ever they are didn't like. And um, then she came out and said, you know, stood up for him. And then these people that are supposed to be the progressives, the, the leftists, the people that are supposed to be, you know, indicative of how you are not to be racist or sexist, then proceeded to call her a bunch of racist, sexist names. Yeah. To prove that, you know, they weren't racist and sexist, and, and she was by defending Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt said nothing, never called her a name. A lot of people that supported the whole thing didn't call her names. But you know who did? The people that were supposed to be on the far, far left that were against such horrible, horrible behavior. Yeah, I was thinking about that this morning when I went for the daily coffee run. I go for a daily coffee mm -hmm. run because I got to have When he means run, he means get in the car. Y yeah. I mean, I could, it'd be hard to bring the coffees back that's right. with, you know, but, um, cause that's, that's my job here is I'm actually the intern. Yes, uh, <laughs> the intern at I'm, I'm the sex slave. You're the boss. Uh, so you would like that though. See, that's the difference. You would like to be, you would like it if that was the case. I bring you your coffee and, and say, yes, ma'am. What else, what else yeah, would you, see, you, you like? You would like that if that was the case. It's a difference. Um, but, but anyway, I was thinking, I was thinking about that with with Zoe Saldana because they were they were hoisting her up on their shoulders on Twitter the other day mm -hmm. like oh yes badass queen oh my god she's a queen of box office it's like you're the same bitches that that called her racist mm -hmm. called her all kinds of derogatory terms for uh black people slang that, terms that, yeah. they are, that you know anybody else would been say would be immediately canceled and they should be yeah but that, it was justified then because she's defending Chris Pratt yeah. Right, right. And that's and that reminds me of the Gina Carano situation. She flat out says, hey, you know what? I'm not going to use pronouns in my bio. I understand why you do it, and I support that you do it, and I'm against bullying, so go you. And then they had the most vile comments calling her all kinds of names, sexist, misogynistic bullshit. Going on about how she's she's a, how she's a misogynistic and sexist and trying to, to trample on trans people as they trampled all over her for no reason. Yeah, a lot of them weren't even trans. I mean, that's no. the thing. They're usually uh, just like straight white women who did, or or a bunch of you know men who want to be straight white women. Like this this asshole right here. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean, what what gets me about that is it's just you're not seeing this in the media though. What you see in the media is you always see poor so and so was bullied off of and Twitter they by cherry the, pick. They cherry pick. You don't see the bullying that goes on to actual minorities, actual women, actual you know. Uh, is the mainstream media going to pick up on the fact that uh, they're they're calling Bill Burr's wife, uh, you know, a minority sex servant? I doubt it. No, but they did. They, that's just one of many guys. It goes on and yeah, on. They keep yeah. referring, co comparing the relationship to master and slave and it's all horrible. that. It, it's absolutely atrocious and appalling. And these are by the people who keep yelling about how we need to change things because sexism and racism is wrong. It's, just, it's another case of where people like us say it's wrong no matter what. And people like them want to cherry pick what's allowed to be racist and what's not. When they say it, it's completely fine. If you were a wrong thinker and not a blue check and you said something like this to somebody else on Twitter, you would be banned. Mm -hmm. You would be banned. But Twitter, of course, you know, is just beyond parody at this point. And, and people who say sensible things sometimes get banned. Uh, people who don't really cross a line get banned, but people can say ridiculous shit like this. And Oh, and that's just one of many. If you go through the comments, there are so many comments that are similar. People actually like this shit? Yeah, probably the same people who make the same, similar comments. All right, here's a list of people that actually like this shit. Wow, wow. Any other any other blue checks? I don't see any other blue checks. Uh, one asshole. Anyway, anyway. But this is perpet. This is the same narrative we keep seeing perpetuated that you know over and over again by Twitter and the media and things that it's people who speak out against this stuff. They're just oh Bill Burr and people like him. They're just alt right Yahtzees people. Um, but he's not the one calling women minority sex slaves. So I guess Sarah Silverman, Sarah Silverman, who's, who's getting taken to task, by the way, uh, she's got some people in her own party, uh, yelling at her because she basically, well, she basically says she has no party now. She has no party. She's like, I can't get on board with the cancel culture crap Welcome anymore. to the club, Sarah. 
Uh, so Sarah Silverman, notable Jewish comedian. She's a Yahtzee too. Well, yeah, because uh, yeah, because I mean, she on. no longer is towing the line because she said that she basically said, you know, I don't align with either party because you know it's so. Um, it's like, it's almost like a religion, which we've been saying yeah, yeah. how it's like, you, you're never, you know, pure enough and it's, it's absolute bullshit and it's, it's ridiculous. And she's like, I basically I just don't want to align with either party, which is pretty much a we're at anymore. Even though we always leaned left, we kind of don't want to associate with either at this point. You're all assholes. Um, yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of people, there's a lot of people. Assholes on every side. There's a lot of people who I think should be removed from office and it's not just on one side. Um, but you basically just, you know, if you have, it, I think it comes down to a case of, I think most people fall into this where I would say you're just in the, considering yourselves moderate. You might lean a certain way, left or right, but you stay in the middle. I think the reason the majority of people, you know, identify that way is because on both sides, they can't um, align themselves with this, you know, idea that you have to agree with everything they say um, or you're not part of that group. Yeah. I'm like, it's like high school, but worse. It, this is worse than high school. This is, I mean, we're talking... A lot of these Twitter boys, and we saw it kind of it low key started with hobbies that the mainstream really didn't pay attention to. We saw it in gaming, we saw it in tabletop gaming, we saw it in comic books. Um, it's creeping into anime now, and now that it's hitting like the mainstream, we're starting to see what's actually going on here. This has been going on for years mm -hmm. behind the scenes, and Twitter and journalists, you know, have this really cozy relationship because a lot of times the blue checks on Twitter. They're the journalists writing the hit pieces, right? And they don't even—they could write one hit piece and get a blue check and have yeah. no audience. But then, meanwhile, people who are like us, who like are moderate but lean left, well, you're not listed as libertarian, but still, we were never allowed to have one, even when we could demonstrably prove, demonstratively prove people were trying to copy us and imitate us and say they were us. They would not give us blue checks, no matter how much we, you know, tried to go to them about issues we had, um, because we weren't left enough. How many freaking comic book conventions did we get invited to as guests? How many, you know, we were in Wikipedia and they wouldn't give us a blue check. But we provide all kinds of proof. They still won't give it to us. No. But they'll give it to these people. Hell, they didn't even give, um, I'm at best his blue check until like last year. Yeah. You want to talk, you want to talk about uh, some racism. Bullshit. Yeah. I'm at best didn't even get his blue check until last year. And again, I, I'm, I'm saying it again. It was the media, not the fans that drove him to a very dark place. I remember, I remember all these, these uh, media outlets like, oh my God, George Lucas and his racism, George Lucas and his racism with the black caricature of Jar Jar Banks. Oh my God, why would Ahmed Best want to do that, lower himself to be Jar Jar Banks? I don't know, I just, it's, you, you know, it's this media, you could trace it all back to the media, but then flip side, you're like making it sound like media and social media are different. They're not, the media, um, the people that are running these and writing these articles are the same dipshits that are holding court on Twitter. Yeah, they basically locked down Twitter. The media came in, journos, and it doesn't take much to get blue check if you write for one of their approved media outlets, you know, the Mary Sue or Comic Book Resources or one of these other garbage websites. If you write for them and you've got a handful of credits, you know, and th these people aren't getting paid very much, but you got a handful of credits, you can get, you can run the Twitter and get your blue check. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. and people like us who have way more, uh, you know, qualifications for getting a blue check won't get one. Um, but this whole thing is just stupid. And I think the majority of people fall into the category where they're just so damn sick of it. And they're just like, shut the hell up. Because you're never going to pass the purity test on either side. No. It's the, you're not on the extremist end. And I think that's why most people fall in the middle. I'm moderate. I lean right. I'm moderate. I lean left. Because the extremes have gone so far extreme that it, it's absolutely ridiculous. When Sarah Silverman leaves because she thinks it's too ridiculous. Yeah, that's saying something. I mean, because Sarah Silverman, you know, she was kind of um, kind of. She got naked for the naked ballot. She did, and you know what? I mean, isn't that ironic? She got naked for the naked ballot a couple of months ago. Here we are, a couple of months into Biden's presidency, and she's like, "I'm done with the Democrats." She's like, "I'm done with every party. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just my own thing." Yeah, I um, mean, that's that's crazy. I mean, how bad is it? that you have to just be like, screw you guys, I'm, I'm out of here. And I think it's going to happen more and more, especially in Hollywood. Now that cancel culture has escaped and it's it's not just going after the people you don't like, but it's going after you and your friends, now it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Now all it's going to take is for the, I guess, the wrong person or the right person to get canceled. And all of a sudden everybody, everybody's going to be like, oh, let's just stop with the cancel culture already, everybody, because it's gone too oh, the far. The cancel culture that a lot of people say don't even exist as they're... 
the cancel culture doesn't exist yet. Hashtag cancel, yeah. cancel culture hashtags. I'm just, or posting cancel culture hash, you know what I mean. Posting cancel culture hashtags. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just really, really tired of it. And um, I think it's, it's, it's just another form of bullying. It, it's all it is is a form of bullying. And I'm tired of, of watching people be, re, uh, you know, rewarded for bullying people. Well, that's what it is. It's, it's like it's that dopamine hit, you know, it's for years. And it, it came from Tumblr. Well, what, you know, we talked about this before. You can kind of follow the, the genealogy of, of this cancel culture. I think it originated actually on LiveJournal and then migrated from LiveJournal to Tumblr. And then once everybody started leaving Tumblr, they all, you know, three, four years ago, they all started coming to Twitter. And now it's infected Twitter. Twitter 10 years ago was great. It was fine. It was just funny cat pictures and art. You can't mm-hmm. post art anymore without people jumping all over your art. Or if they don't, if they don't hurt and copyright it so that you have to, they pay. Put it yeah, behind right. The put it behind the paywall. If they don't do that, then they're gonna jump on you for making the boobs too big, making the characters too light skinned, making them. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, and the best way to deal with these people, uh, they don't like bullies. Don't like to pick on people that they know will fight back. Mm-hmm. So you make damn sure that people know you will fight back. And That's they, why everybody calls me in when there's a she thing. They're like, go get geeky sparkles. And they come in and it just goes They just scatter like a bunch of fucking cockroaches <laughs> because that's what they are. But it's just like, Oh my know, God, geeky sparkles. Ah, sunlight. <laughs> Pretty much of it. That's why I sparkle. Uh, if, it, if, it, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. And the same thing with this. If it sounds like racism, if it sounds like sexism, if it sounds like bigotry and bullshit, it's bigotry and bullshit. Yeah. I don't care which side you claim you're on. I, you, I've seen some of the most nasty, tacky comments, like like the bamboo ceiling. I love it. Stop stereotyping being racist. And then they're mad because they said that Asian people who are not being um, given the same uh, treatment in the workplace, they're not getting the positions they think they should be getting. They're calling it the bamboo ceiling. I'm like, not like the glass ceiling for women, the bamboo ceiling. And I'm sitting here like, what? And I'm, cause, cause, you know, Cause they're Asian. Bamboo ceiling, obviously. I'm like, um, Italians get the spaghetti ceiling. I, mean, I guess this... I'm like, that's a special kind of stupid. White right people there. get the spaghetti ceiling. But yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm just like, here, they, stop, you know, stop, you know, making these you know, assumptions, stop uh, stereotyping people. It's racist. Just, um, I just, why are we going backwards? What the hell? We're going backwards. I don't, and we're going backwards very quickly. It's like it's like watching Ready Player One. I was thinking it when you said and backwards. And they get they get into DeLorean and they slam it backwards. Which ironically, they're making a special about the DeLorean that yeah, comes out today. But that's what's going on. We're in Bizarro backwards world. Like it's freaking 1958 with cell phones. I know. What and, the and hell it's happened? Reverse. It's reverse on who's, you know. Yeah, I don't understand it. it. It's just ridiculous. I don't and understand it's it. It's like, be better. Just be better than this. This is not okay. It's not okay to talk to people like that. It's not okay to refer to a woman as a minority sex slave. Ever. Unless she asks you to. Then if she asks you to, that's different. I, that might be an OnlyFans tier. Right. You know, it, it could <laughs> I'm just be. Saying, it could she be. she tells you to call her that, that's a different. That's different. But this is not okay. This is not okay, and I'm sick of it. You know, he's allowed to make jokes. He wasn't wrong. You just proved him right. You, just you proved didn't him like right. what Gina Carano said. You, you proved her right. And proved her right. Every time you prove these people right, you're like, oh my God, they're the alt right Yahtzees. They're the fascists. And then you, they're calling out fascism. And then you prove them right. By acting like a fascist. By acting like a fascist. I'm like, you guys, what the hell? I mean, are you this stupid for real? Yes. Yes, they are. Well, they're mostly probably like, you know, teenagers in early 20s but still this guy's old enough to know better this is some seriously ignorant shit it really is seriously seriously ignorant shit uh i love zuby though well done worst tweet ever and the competition is tough you won you can delete your account now exactly and he won't he'll get he'll get fist bumps for the like the he already is are, getting fist bumps the likes are going up i think the quote tweets are mostly people mocking him though so, I don't who's know. Who's liking you know this shit? Good news, he gets to keep his blue check. He um, gets to keep his blue check. But we can't get one when we call out people like him. I give up. I give up. Anyway, uh, good on Bill Burr's wife, uh, Nia. Yeah, don't mess with Don't mess with a strong woman. Don't, She'll kick your ass. She she will kick this guy. I I bet she could take him in arm wrestling, too. I say she kick him on the balls, but I don't think he has any. He doesn't have any balls. Uh, Bill Burr's got balls, though, to handle a woman like that. You have to be. 
All right. I'm he gonna... probably says, yes, ma'am. <laughs> he probably does brings her coffee every morning. I like her. So oh, anyway. Yeah, you guys get along great. I'm, I'm sure we would. We're going to wrap this one yep. up. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.